Good afternoon. Welcome to Kings Meadow for this nationwide conference league match. Uh, Kingstonian versus Woking, the first game of the millennium. Here with uh, manager Jeff Chappell. Jeff, um, how do you um, fancy Kingstonian's chances today? It's a good question. Uh, probably be able to answer that a bit better. It, uh, obviously, quarter five. Um, if it's anything like the last game at uh, Woking, it'll be entertaining. Um, good crowd, over 3,000. I think they all went home happy because uh, both sides got something out of it. Um, we haven't played particularly well at home, and that's what we've got to try and address. That is a problem to me, um, one reason or another. Players have lost form, and we've had players missing. Um, and, of course, it, it lacks a little bit of atmosphere at times, and um, if we can get the players to perhaps lift the supporters and get them behind us early doors, then um, let's hope, um, because there's no guarantees in football. That's why it's such a wonderful game, um, so unpredictable. Um, but um, the signs were encouraging at Woking. Now, if we can perform in a similar vein today, um, get the ball on the floor and pass, good tempo, um, and take our chances, more importantly, because we had some good chances and we didn't even make the goalkeeper work for three or four of them, it's vitally important that you hit the target. Um, if we can do all those things, then, you know, we've got a chance. The one thing... Um, that we've got to contend with is that uh, Woking are certainly battling their way through, working extremely hard, mm. and uh, they will do that today. Kingstonian uh, midfield looked a lot tighter with Pitcher and Patterson back in the 4 eight. Yeah, I mean, it would do. They're the two probably the best in the business, probably the best in the country at this level, and um, it's important that they play well. Um, very pleased for Jeff Pitcher because I thought he was sensational and scored a great goal. Mm. Um, Pato will work his socks off, as we know. Uh, box to box, and um, I thought Phil Wingfield, um, although he took a little bit of criticism from some of our own people, um, director level at that, I might add, I thought he did exceptionally well on the left-hand side and worked very hard, and uh, it was probably the best game I think Phil's had for us. Woking have certainly improved uh, since the beginning of the season when I saw them against Hendersford. They've come on quite a bit. Yeah, they have. Um, I think it's possibly a case of perhaps Brian McDermott not knowing what his best side is or was. Um, they seem to have got a bit more of a settled side now. Um, obviously, when you look at the league table, and they obviously do quite often, um, they're in a very, very uh, difficult position down there. And, um, you know, you, the longer you're there, particularly this time of year, uh, the harder it is to get out of it. So they know they've got to battle, and that's what we've got to contend with. Um, and we've got to make good use of the ball. You said to me many a time in the past the importance of league tables at the Christmas period. How do you feel Kingstonian's position is at the moment in the table? Well, OK. Um, I could say I'm disappointed because we were top only two or three weeks ago, but um, um, I'm not daft. I said from day one that um, if everything went well, we'd be OK. Um, things haven't gone so well, i.e. with personnel. And... Uh, I think after the rushing game where we lost 1-0, we lost the front three after that game, didn't score for three games, and then we've had others in and out, um, and it's been difficult um, because of the strength in depth. Mm. And teams with strength in depth are going to figure very, very prominently at the end of the season. I still think um, we're in a good position. We're in the top six, and um, I've always said wherever I've been, if you're in the top six at the turn of the year, then you're in contention. Um, but I still feel that whoever finishes above Rushton and Diamonds are probably going to be the champions. Kingston, the only five points behind Rushton and Diamond. Rushton have got a game in hand. So it's a very open conference league at the moment. Well, it is. And as you just said, five points. And we've lost four on the spin going into last week's game at Woking. So that tells you how open it is. Um, there's half a dozen sides there. Um, Rushton will remain my favourites. Um, there's Kidderminster, Harry's Morecambe could come through. Steve Neesborough could come through with a late run. And, and you hope that we can. Um, we need to keep everybody fit. Um, we're just two missing at the moment. Both of those, um, as we know, can play in the same position, which is a little bit uh, frustrating for us. Um, we're asking Luke Basford to, to do... Um, the best he can because he's a bit small and um, he's, he's quite bright and inventive um, but we do miss Colin Luckett and Robin Taylor and um, you know apart from that everybody's fit and we just need to keep them that way. Did you make any New Year's resolutions uh, that's regarding football this year? <laughs> no, no, I mean it's pointless me making them because I'll break them the next day. Um, probably the best one I should be making is to give up smoking but um, football management is quite a stressful business and um, particularly here lately, um, as I say, where we lost those four straight uh, defeats and, um, you know, I haven't made any, but I just hope that um, we can get back to playing the way that I know we, we can and play the, 
the chapel style, if you like, which is pass and move and get the ball on the floor and let everybody enjoy it. Your teams do play with a lot of passion, Jeff, and it's a shame that it, it, we, Kingstonian doesn't get the support here at Kings Meadow. Yeah, I mean, I've heard people say, even fellow directors have said, well, it's because we're not top of the league, and I totally disagree with that comment because um, we can't have done much more than we did last season in winning the F. Ambro Trophy at Wembley, and, and I mean, they certainly turned out then in full force. There must have been 10,000 uh, K supporters on the day. And, um, you know, just at the moment, I'm sort of looking at 900 as the norm, which is, is very disappointing. But um, there's nothing I can do about it. We've got to get on with it and, and try and get the players playing to their full potential. And Kingstonian are certainly coming back, I feel, into a run again with, with most of the players back. And I expect a good game today. Do you feel the same? Yeah, I got a bit of a buzz after the last one. Um, I knew that we'd play better because there'd be a good atmosphere, and there was, over 3,000, and um, that's what made the players play. Um, today, I just hope that there's going to be a crowd in excess of 2,000. I know the weather's poor, but um, it's a local derby. It's this, you know, holiday period again, bank holiday. Um, let's just hope it's entertaining for them and that we see plenty of gold mouth action, and that's what will bring the people out. And um, if we do all the things that we're capable of doing, we'll win. But um, if we don't, then it's going to be difficult. Going back to Woken again this year, was it a bit easier after many years at the club? Yeah, I'll put all that behind me. Um, I mean, the first time back um, was obviously a little bit emotional um, for the obvious reason, having been there 13 years. Um, still get on with the people there, great supporters. I mean, they've dropped off a little bit. Um, but if they can get back to, you know, something like they were, then th I'm sure they'll get the supporters back. But um, now I've, I've got to be concerned with what's happening here now. And um, so the only thing that disappoints me um, is, is, the, is the crowds. Um, we are worth more than what we're getting. Um, you know, perhaps we can get out in the marketplace a bit more and, and drum up a bit more support. Um, now we've got a commercial manager. I'm sure he'll do a good job. But um, if we can get the players playing, um, the word will spread and hopefully they'll come and watch us. So on that, thanks very much, Jeff. On that positive note, manager Jeff Chappell, uh, very enthusiastic about today's game at Kings Meadow. It's the first game of the season for uh, football focus videos for the, for the new millennium. Uh, so this is Peter Langhorn at Kings Meadow with manager Jeff Chappell for the game Kingstonian versus Woking.